Uh, delegates and friends, uh, it is a pleasure once again to address the national conference of this great Labour Party. We find ourselves here in Wexford, a county and a constituency with a very proud and noble Labour tradition. I cannot think of a constituency that has been more consistent in returning a Labour TD to Dáil Éireann than Wexford. It has also to be said that the party here in Wexford has been set apart by the quality of representation that it has returned to the Dáil during all those years. And I wish at the outset to pay tribute to those fine Labour men, Richard Corish, Daniel O'Callaghan, John O'Leary, Brendan Corish, and of course the last count caller, Brendan Howland. And I need to all those who have worked so hard in good times and in bad for Labour and the cause of Labour here in Wexford. I am delighted, colleagues, to have the opportunity to reply to this motion, uh, and I thank the delegates from the Ross's branch in Donegal for proposing same. Delegates, for too long our fishing industry has been sidelined in order to benefit other sectors of the economy. Our fishermen have paid a high price, and it is to their credit that we still have a fishing industry in this country at all. Successive governments have showed no vision and no interest in this sector and that needs to change. I am pleased to say that our party leader, Deputy Eamon Gilmore, himself a former minister for the Marine, has shown imagination in this area. He is the only party leader to have committed one full front bench spokesperson in this area. By this, the Labour Party is making a statement of intent. It is my goal and the goal of the Labour Party to support in every way the development of our sea fisheries and aquaculture industries. There is great potential in this area for the future. Coming from a coastal constituency like Cork Southwest, I'm very familiar with the sea fishing industry. I know how vital it is to areas where it provides a critical source of year-round employment at sea and on shore. It is an industry that I'm aware that has been facing many challenges due to the decline of many of the commercial fish stocks. It is a sector where the Labour Party recognises, and I think the industry itself would agree, that a new restructuring and development strategy is needed. As the Collier report mentioned, the stark reality is that decisive and radical action is now called for at national and EU level to safeguard the seafood industry, the fish stocks, and the future of our coastal communities. I wish to state that I welcome the findings of the Collier report, which I believe sets out a vision for a sustainable, profitable and self-reliant industry that will maximize its long-term contribution to coastal communities based on fish stocks restored to sustainable levels in the context of a healthy and diverse marine environment. What is required, colleagues, to achieve this is a coordinated approach to dealing with this industry. We need a cohesive approach both within the industry itself and between the industry and the state if we are to effectively address the industry's deep-seated problems and its undoubted potential. While I welcome the uh, merging of responsibility for seafood with the rest of the food industry, there remains a total lack of joined-up thinking and responsibility at government level. At the moment, responsibility seems to fall between agriculture and fisheries on one hand, communications, energy and natural resources on the other, and the departments of environment, transport, rural affairs and tourism also involve to some extent or another. There was an astonishing exchange in the Dáil a few weeks ago where the Tánaiste, in the absence of the Taoiseach, was asked which minister was responsible for a particular piece of fisheries legislation. Minister Cowan looked like a deer caught in the headlights until some helpful colleague eventually whispered to him that it was indeed Minister Ryan. Now, if a senior member of Cabinet uh, doesn't know who is responsible, then what chance or hope does anybody else have? I would urge that we follow the lead of the EU in this matter it has just launched an integrated maritime policy which links up all the various areas of the marine industry. Fishing, tourism, shipping, seafood, marine research, transport, and the list goes on. It should be noted that the ocean economy currently contributes some three billion euro per annum to Ireland's GMP when one takes account of income from fishing, aquaculture, food processing, shipping, tourism, IT, financial, and other services. Nevertheless, it is a relatively underdeveloped sector of the Irish economy. Danish productivity is four times higher than that of the Netherlands, with a significantly smaller coastline is five times higher. Ireland is simply not at the races, and the fragmented and disorganised manner in which government deals with the maritime uh, area has to be changed. In conclusion, I support this motion, and I pledge that both I 
and the Labour Party will work to formulate a long-term fishery policy in the context of the overall marine industry. Good morning.